So yeah, I've, I've sailed since I was a child and um, it's really important for me to have time alone also because I, I sail alone a lot. Um, it's, I think it's, um, it's, my work is not about a particular social issue or politics or something like that. It's kind of an expression of me, of who I am and how I feel. And um, sailing and having time alone in nature is a very important part of my life and part of who I am. Um, and so I've, I've always sailed kind of as a way of getting, it's a different, it's a sort of a different part of my life really. And when I go off on sailing, I'm not kind of always thinking about my work and thinking, oh, I must come back with new ideas or inspiration. It's more um, that it's, it's a very different, you, it, I'm um, expressing a very different part of myself that need to be in nature, in the wilderness. And also, there's a kind of risk involved in it. You know, if you're sailing alone, and especially if you're going long distances, you're, you're very much, nature is so powerful. The weather is, is something that we have no control over. So it's kind of the, the problems and the decisions and the choices that you're faced with are completely different to the complexity of modern life, where there's so much information, so many things that you have to think about and, and, and deal with all the time. This is not like it's being on a boat is not, um, it's not all relaxation. It can also be quite stressful and quite tiring, but it's a, it's a different, simpler kind of set of, of um, issues that you're dealing with and responding to. And for me, that's always been, um, it's kind of like a reset. So that after I've been sailing, if I've been like, a, now my boat is based in Scotland on the west coast of Scotland, which is a very beautiful, quite a wilderness area. Um, having time up there, having a kind of being with myself or, you know, with my partner as well, because we also sail together and have a wonderful time. But it's when I come back, I'm kind of in a different, a different place in, 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 my, in my head and how I feel. And it's, it has been important over the years. So the, probably the longest sailing trip I did alone was to sail to, to the Azores, which is you know, right out in the Atlantic. So you know, it was a long time out in the, in the Atlantic by myself. And when I came back from that trip, which is, that was about three months altogether, I felt a need to not just start working on exactly the same ideas that I'd been doing when I left. I wanted to do something completely new. And, that's, and that then, I, it was when I started to work with colour saturation pieces, which is a, a different body of work completely, working a lot with colour and a completely new direction. And I, 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 it wasn't a choice that I made, it was something that just kind of happened as a result of having so much time to myself and then wanting to go in a new direction um, with my work when I came back. So, um, the, as I mentioned, um, my boat is now based up on the west coast of Scotland in, in the Hebrides. Um, which is a beautiful area of mountains and, and you know, isolated islands and beautiful places to anchor. Um, and it's, you know, it's very wild. And so when I've been up there, I've been thinking, actually, I really want to start to bring these two different parts of my, of my life together in some way. So sailing and, and my work in glass. And um, one of the things that I've always been interested in is working with um, textures and forms that I find in nature. And up there, the, there's so much of that. You know, there's so many beautiful rocks and um, things that I find, you know, by the water in, in, re in remote places. So I've started taking um, materials up there with me, mold making materials, so that if I find something that I like, and I'm looking all the time, I've kind of got my eyes open, you know, wherever I am, then I've got the materials to be able to um, make a mold and bring that back with me into the studio and then to, to develop new pieces of work from it. So it's a, it's a completely clean process. It's not, I'm not leaving any trace. It, it's, it's like making a drawing or taking a photograph or making a, an impression of the rocks, removing it and leaving it exactly as I found it. But I've then got an accurate um, representation or, or mould of, of what I've found. And that's then become the starting point for the, the work that I'm doing at the moment. 
Yeah, so these, working with optical glass, um, it, it means that you do have this uh, a material which is very, very, it's very perfect really, it's very pure, the glass, and so you don't have any kind of distortion, the light just comes through it and is, is uninterrupted, but it means that you have the possibility to, to use the, it's called in total internal refraction, so the light travels through the, the, the glass and when it hits the, the, the back surface it bounces back again like a mirror. It works like a mirror but it only works if you stand here. If you move over there it disappears and you see straight through. So it means that the, you get a kind of illusion, an image of the, of the texture which is on one side of the piece which is repeated and it, it, gives, the, it gives the work a kind of kinetic quality so that as you move, it completely, it, it, the, the piece changes completely. So, you know, one moment you see straight through, you move a little bit and suddenly it becomes almost solid. You can, but you're looking, it's kind of an illusion. So it's all, it, like it comes into focus and it goes out of focus, which is why it relates, you know, to the theme of this exhibition of, of unfocus. No, I don't, I don't really work with, um, I wouldn't say, philosophic or even intellectual. My work is, is um, it's not conceptual, it's much more intuitive. It's not, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's more about a feeling that I have that, you know, I, I, I want to make something, I look at it and it, it feels right or it doesn't feel right. So it's, it's, I'm relating to it much more on that kind of level than, than it to do with a philosophy or a concept. I think that, um, what I'm trying to achieve is, um, when, when I'm working on a piece, um, is that it feels, it kind of feels complete, that it feels, I feel satisfied with it, that I can step back and think, yeah, that is actually, that, that feels like it's working right. And um, it's, not, it's not always easy to, to get to that point. And sometimes I'll make something and then, you know, I'm sort of not quite right. Or I wake up in the night and I think, oh, I'm not sure. And then I want to go back and change something. And it gets to a point where the, it feels complete, it feels finished. And I sort of feel, yes, this is what I was trying to, trying to do. Then it, it, that is the closest that I can think of to, to answering your question. Yes, well, the theme it works very well f for me because I'm I'm working already with with this idea of of, of a, an image that comes in and out of focus, and so as as you move around the piece, you know, you 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 see nothing or you see straight through, and then suddenly you move, and this this image kind of comes into focus, and then it goes again. So, it, it's a very appropriate theme for me. It was kind of easy for me to to address this theme. I didn't have to think, okay, and start a completely different body of work. This is, this is kind of the area that I'm exploring in my work anyway. So, it, yeah, it was, it was a nice theme for me. Working with these forms, um, the, the rock in, in the northwest of Scotland, the geologically, it's, it's one of the oldest in, in, it, on the planet. You know, it's very, very, very ancient rocks. What I was actually working with was, um, there's, there's basalt, was because it's, it was volcanic, there's an ancient volcano there, so the, the, there was, you know, the whole, the whole area is covered in basalt. And there's also a lot of slate. There's incredible um, variety of, of different types of rock up there. And there's something about that kind of, it's so ancient and you really feel it's an old landscape. I really like to um, take a moment to, to, to to capture something of that, you know, we see it like you think, oh, it looks beautiful. You know, you look at the view, but to really, to really focus on on a detail of that, and then to to make something new out of it, something very contemporary, us using modern materials. But of course, glass, the, the the materials for glass are actually silica, and in fact, the the, the best, the nicest silica sand for making glass comes from the west coast of Scotland. There's a kind of a there's a nice kind of um, connection there, but it's, it's bringing something that's so ancient into a kind of contemporary, so we see it today in our, in our lives here. I, I, I like that, that it's sort of drawing attention to something that we, we don't really notice.